So I'm excited to show you some new improvements to uh, inventory item list management they did in QuickBooks Online. Uh, let, me, let me start by going into the gearbox here and clicking on products and services and show you what I mean. Um, here on the products and service uh, list, you didn't have a lot of columns here before. So what they did is they added here in the settings button, the little gear, they added the ability to check all these here and then basically allows you to just see more fields of the items in this screen. So I really like that and it makes it easier to kind of search and go through all your items. Now the, the, the really exciting thing to show you is about adding pictures to the to the items. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new and they uh, they created a new system now. Now there's two types of products and services or two types of items per se. One is just called quote-unquote item and the other one is called a uh, service and, and basically the difference is uh, the service items cannot be made into inventory and the items uh, can be made into inventory but not all the items are inventory in order for them to be inventory you would have to click this little checkbox here so I'm going to create um, an item here we're going to call this has avocado and I'm going to go ahead and create a SKU number. That's also new. It's really, really neat, the SKU number. So I can use another coding system for my for my products, which I can use to, to search in as well. So I really like that. That's actually uh, very, very useful. So I'm going to click on Upload up here and choose the picture related to that uh, product. There it is. So then before I sell it, I can actually just quick quickly preview the product and choose, yep, that's the right product that I want to sell. I'm going to click on um, track quantity on hand. That way it makes it as, as an inventory item. I'll put zero here and I'll put today's date. Uh, so I'll put today's date here. Perfect. And I'm going to put a description here. So I'm going to call this uh, soft when ripe and just kind of remember the description I'm using here because I'm going to use this as an example to show you something else that they added to the item list, which is awesome. Uh, so dark green skin. We'll do that. Dark green skin. And uh, if I can spell that correctly, perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this description on the purchasing side. I'm going to sell these guys for 69 cents a pop, but I'm going to pay let's say 40 cents for each one and then I'll click on save and close. So that that hasn't changed the process of creating a new item, but this this has certainly changed which is the screen. Now I get to see the sales price, the cost, the quantity, I get to see the account uh, that it affects, you know, I can actually hide that one if I want to, if that doesn't uh, uh, meet my expectations there, I can get to see my SKU number and I can see the, the, the picture and I can also uh, play with the size of these columns here. Uh, it's a little bit sensitive, so it's kind, of, it's kind of precise. So let me create another item and show you a new feature they added as well this month, which is duplicate. So here on the action button, I'm going to hit the drop down there and click on duplicate. And what it does is it creates the same item again with uh, almost all the same information. And then I can just uh, easily just change the difference, right? So I'll change the name there and I'll put uh, a different SKU number, whatever it happens to be, right? I'm going to click on upload and choose the correct picture for this item now. There we go. And I'll make it uh, make it uh, uh, inventory part as well. That way uh, we don't have, I mean, we can track inventory for it, but now this is going to be different. We're going to call this uh, bright green skin. And again, uh, just kind of pay attention to what I'm putting there in the description because that's going to uh, be different now because that's a new thing that they added. So I'm going to show you how that works and I'll change the cost of this one as well. Okay, perfect. So now I got my two items. And if I happen to have a really long item list and I don't remember the name, uh, but I do remember some part of the description, like for example, if I put the word uh, ripe, um, it narrows down to all the items that have the word uh, ripe, or if I had the word bright or whatever it happens to be, it narrows that down. So I love that about the filter, and you don't have to click search or anything like that. It's just right there on the find screen. Now, the other nice thing about this is I can um, separate and only show my service items or only show my items, right? Which could be inventory and non-inventory, as I mentioned before. The other real nice thing about this is if I have to get rid of a lot of items in bulk, I can actually hit select all up there or just manually check them and then click on batch action and make inactive. And it basically takes them 
out of circulation in the in the products and services list. So I thought that's a really nice thing and and and, and worth uh, worth showing. So you you can filter and show the inactive ones, and then you can actually start you can see the ones that were deleted in the past. So I find that to be uh, really really useful and two really great uh, new features they added this month to QuickBooks Online. Now, uh, what I would love to see soon, which is not available yet, is being able to see these pictures in the actual transaction. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say I'm gonna go ahead and create a, an estimate. And um, if I'm a regular user and I have thousands of, of items, and when I go create um, an estimate, I get my regular old item list. So it would be really cool to have the ability to see the the pictures there because then we'll be able to identify them um, easier. So that's the that's kind of the, the the issue I have with with the pictures is that they don't they don't come full circle with their um, usefulness in there too. The other thing that would be nice is when I type a text here, I would love to see um, this catch the SKU number if somebody was to type the SKU number that is not available yet as well. It would be also, like I said, it would be, it would be nice to be able to see that. Now, uh, one kind of workaround I have for that is what I do is I, I'll make this uh, screen a little bit smaller. And before I do that, let me just uh, um, close this for a second to show you what, what I'm trying to get to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the gearbox here and then I'm going to go to products and services but I'm gonna right click on that and click on open in new window. Um, so it's gonna show a completely separate window for that. And, I'm, and then I'm gonna take that window and kind of just uh, uh, make it a little bit smaller here and, and have it collapse already. Uh, and then on the on this side, I'll make this one a smaller also sort of to the to the left and then, and then I'll create a transaction. So I'll click on create new and then I'll go to estimate. And then what I can do is I can use this pictures here to kind of guide me and it's kind of a manual process but again it's, it's a workaround so once I see yeah that's the one I'm looking for then I would just manually uh, type it here so so where this um, feature of adding uh, pictures and adding SKUs uh, comes a uh, full circle it really is when, when we'll be able to use the SKUs in a transaction or use the uh, or be able to see the the pictures in the transaction but the last thing I wanted to show you is if you remember, I'm going to click on edit here, is uh, somewhere in the, let me just edit this this one, the one that has a product, somewhere here on the description, I put the word uh, ripe or soft or whatever, and, and it was able to narrow it down. It could also work by SKU number. So here, if I if I knew the SKU number, I can actually type in here 88, eight, and it'll narrow that down by SKU number too. So, so the find feature is extremely powerful. It works in the item name, on the SKU number and the description, all three. But you cannot use the SKU number yet in the in the transaction itself like the estimate.